What is going on guys today? We have another team of the season for you and they're going to be flowing from the next few days. Um, obviously been a little bit of a break kind of doing pack openings guaranteed SBCs but we're back on that play review hype so expect absolutely loads. I've invested in quite a few uh, Bundesliga team of the seasons and I've been getting a couple of the week uh, the weekly objectives so expect them over the next few days. We're going to go absolutely ham on them. Um, so we've got today uh, I want to say Demi Bay. That's how I've Google translated it because I'm absolutely awful at pronunciations and I'm trying to get a little bit better with them. Um, so that, that's how it's going to be said in this video. If it is wrong, let me know if you if you can let me know how you say it. But Demi Bay is how it pronoun pronounced it. Let's get into it. So we've got a 93 rated centre mid. 82 pace, 90 shooting, 83 defended, 94 dribbling, 85 physical and 94 passing. This card is absolutely stacked with 90s. Very, very nice in general. He'll cost you around about 290 on both consoles at the minute. And more than likely will go up when he gets out of packs. Probably not too much now. Um, but maybe goes up at least over that 300k threshold. Um, I can imagine. So, <clears throat> I'd pick him up, to be honest. 4 star, 4 star, which is fantastic. He's 6 foot, so he's not... He's not massive, but I mean, as in, he's, he, by no means he's small. Um, so he fits that demographic of a very tall FIFA team. Obviously, Hullet, uh, Vieira, I think there's, uh, I think Hullet's six three, Vieira's six four, Balak is six two. You can kind of see the height there that that really speaks to this FIFA, and I think it's it's what everyone knows. Height wins this game. Pace. Well, I'd say pace does win the game as well, but more acceleration than pace for my uh, for my understanding. The sprint speed is a fact, obviously, that does consider in, in this game, but everyone can catch everyone, it seems. So acceleration to get away from and then make that pass or make that shot is quite important in this game. And then you add height into that as well. You've got a monster card. So for this card, for me... I'd reckon more centre mid. You could play Cam, you could play CDM, depending on what chem style you go. If you go with a Hunter, he'll have 92 pace, 94 shooting. If you go for a Shadow, he gets 90 defending and 94 pace. That, for me then, is an incredible centre mid role there. And I think you'd definitely lose out of that value, putting him in either one or the other. I think centre mid is what this card's made for. And with that Shadow on personally, turns him into an absolute god. He is, a, he is a nice long shot as well. You'll see in some of these clips, there is a monster long shot he does. Some of the stats, some of the standouts, 91 stamina, which is always fantastic for a centre mid. 92 reactions, which again is really nice. He also has 80, was that 88? My screen's a little bit dirty. 88 composure, I'll take it. 99 curve, 96 shot. I could literally list them. Have a look at his foot bin and you'll see the absolute audacity that this card actually has in game. And I think it's one that a lot of people didn't really see. Um, I've not really heard much about him. And to be honest, if I did manage to get him in my uh, Bundesliga pick, I'd be absolutely over the moon. If you haven't seen that video already, go back and uh, check it out. And also, if you're new around here, subscription, bell button, like, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So promotion done. We've just hit 3K as well. I'll speak about that at the end. Um, so if you want to stick around for that, if you are a avid fan of me, that is absolutely incredible and is crazy to think that I've got people that come and see these videos. Um, but we're, we're getting off topic. For this card, for me, centre mid roll. He's good at tackling. He's good at getting the ball back. He's then also good at driving forward a little bit. He may not have the, the most amazing agility and dribbling in the sense of he's not going to be your, your five-star, your four-star skiller. But he manages to get past people, he wins the ball, he's got a decent height so he does win headers and overall he's just a fantastic centre mid. He's a really, in, in this FIFA, a cheap centre mid as well. Obviously if you've got a German team already, he fits in perfectly. You've got links of Ozil, you've got, um, you can go into the, the German league is one, you could go with Kroos to get him into La Liga. Icons, you've got plenty. You could partner up with Balak, which would be an incredible German partnership right there. Um, and you've got endless options. And it's one thing I do like this stage in FIFA. You've got a lot of di different... Look at that. Look at that. That is a fan... I knew it was coming. I had, I think, two or three shots in this specific game that that was going to happen. And it was a banger. Um... But like I said, in this sort of FIFA now, and now we're getting towards the end, we're starting to see some really nice hybrids of teams. You can really choose. There's, there's not one set choice. Like, right at the start, when we had Hullet, when we had Vieira, they were the ultimate god. Like, they still are, let's face it. They're still fantastic, and I'm on my way to get Hullet as well. Um, but 
Now we've got options of quite a few different players. We've got this guy. We've got Witzel's a very nice CDM as well, who again is 400k. You can get this guy and him for just, was it just over 700k or just under 700k? That for me is a fantastic partnership right there. Links in the same league. Obviously one's Belgian, one's German, so it doesn't have that super strong link, but... It's, it's a fantastic time to be on FIFA, especially if you do have coins. Like, that is to be said. Um, you do need a lot of coins at the minute for these team of the seasons. Their price are, are sticking up, and I think that's due to mainly them being quite difficult to pack in the sense of you're not spending a grand worth of FIFA points on these, and you, you'll get quite a few. We've seen it. We've seen Castro Bates, and they're like 140 team of the seasons each. That is incredible. Also, the Bundesliga team of the season pack is going to be incredible. We're going to be seeing so many Royces, so many Lewandowskis, and that's something that I really want to work on next year, is to get to that stage. But this guy is 100% worth a pickup. Um, obviously, there is better options, and I'm not saying there isn't. For the coin value, I think he's decent. He's most definitely decent. Um, a lot of people don't play center mids many uh, at the minute, mainly CDMs and cams, so that always adds to that effect. But overall, I'm giving him an 8.5 just because of the caliber that there is above him still. Um, but by no means a fantastic card. Um, 8 out of 10 for coin value. I think now I've seen him be 290. He was up a little bit um, over the few days before I did this. So I'd probably bump that up to a 9. Enjoyment 8.5. Obviously, he's a center mid. He's not going to be that goal scorer, that kind of flair player. So you're going to have enjoyment out of him in the sense of a very, very constructive center mid. <clears throat> Consistency, 7 out of 10. I think when you come up against so many different kind of levels of players, then you're going to find that sometimes he's not in the game as much. Foot champs ready, 100%. That's where I got all my clips from. Pros, pop shots are incredible from long range. Passing is all amazing. And an all-round CM, I think he's absolutely incredible. The cons on him, the tackling is good. Like I said, it's good, but not quite there. If you used to whack a shadow on him, to be honest, he, he probably would go up to great. I think that would definitely bump him up. Um, just looking quickly what before I end this, um, the shadow would give him 99 marking, 88 standing tackle, 89 sliding tackle, um, 69 head and accuracy, which to be honest, not too fuss, and 90 interception. So you can see already the caliber of what you're putting on him is decent. Like It's not going to be um, Vieira level, Hullet level, but... Most definitely for a 93 CM that only costs you just under 300k, I think that's definitely worth a little bit of a cheeky look. So if you did enjoy this video, a like is always appreciated. And like I said, we've just hit 3k and I cannot believe it. I cannot thank you enough. We've smashed it. I wanted I wanted like 3k before the end of FIFA 19. I'm up in that. I want to see if I can get to 5k before the end of FIFA 19. And then if we can push on FIFA 20, I'd really like to be ambitious to get 10k before the end of the year. So I'm going to be consistent as always. I always like to have an upload at least one or two a day. Um, three is normally my optimum level, but we're still grinding. We're still going. All the support has been incredible. And whatever comments you put down below, thank you very much again for the free K. It has been incredible. And like I said, if you're new around here, subscription always helps. And if you want to whack that bell button on as well, just to get notified whenever I make a video. And also, whilst you're down there, a cheeky like is always appreciated. I'll see you all again next time. Peace.